So, you know, people will always ask, why do you want to spend the time and effort to uh, feed your fish live food? Well, there is the nutrition part of it, and, you know, you think that nature would dictate that some good nutrition would be great, but I always like just to, uh, you know, try out what I can, and mosquito larvas that I start harvesting just from a bin outside, they get pretty quick, pretty fast, but they should do work good as a little bit of live foods. All right, let's see what we can see. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. It's like fishing. Probably a little bit scared with the phone. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting some really good shots. Wrong bait. It is. Do do do. And it's so wiggly. To go on her. Oh, here's a chase. Here's a chase. Huh. Oh, there's one behind there. Oh, here it comes. It's stuck on the filter. I don't know if it has the strength to overcome it. Oh, there's a few more. Whoa, it's a bottle. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> I'm gonna just got with this one. All right, all right, let's try one more. Hey, look at that. Just one bin of water I keep just for the mosquitoes. We got a few mosquitoes here. You know, it's so weird. Like, not as many mosquitoes in the blue bin as there is in the white bin. I don't know if it's the size or if it's just... You know, the way the color water looks, I don't know, weird. Okay, let's go feed them. So if you think about it, these mosquito larvas are like, you know, twice as big to what your two-day-old two uh, 
corridor us. I don't know. Anyway, let's feed these. As soon as they move, it's, oh, that's when it's. I think that's it. Yeah, and a good hatch of corridor, Corridoras X. Corridoras? That's probably, I guess, 100 of them. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe like 60. But they're pretty compact, they're pretty small, so that's definitely a few dozens.